So what I'm going to do now is show you how to automate the parameters on any effect device and indeed any instrument. So I'm going to take, for example, our snare again, and I'd like to automate reverb send level on that so that sometimes there's more reverb, sometimes there's maybe a bit less reverb. So I'm going to press sound, and I'm going to come out of modules. Let me solo that snare sound. So over the course of four bars, I'd just like to automate more and less reverb in that sort of fashion. Very simple. All I need to do is hold down the auto write button here as I'm adjusting the parameter. Just zoom out a little bit there so we can see all of that pattern. It just adds a nice little bit of variation there. Now if you like what you've done then great. If you don't like it, hold a raise. And just move the rotary of the parameter that you've just recorded some automation in for and it'll just remove that automation track. Let's try that again. So if you like that then great, if not same rotary control, hold a raise, just touch the rotary control and it'll remove that automation. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to move over to the group now. going to press modules I'm going to introduce a bit of the uh, resicord into the mix and this time I'm going to change the chord type that that's playing just to give a bit of mel melodic variation Now we've got the reverb automation on the snare, we've got the resicord uh, chord style automation. If we wanted to get rid of that we could do it in the same way, just that single uh, modulated track. Or if we hold down shift and press clear automation, it will remove the chord changes and uh, the reverb send level automation as well, so it'll just clear any automation from this pattern. So recording and removing automation in this way works the same for any sort of instrument or effect parameters. There is a slightly different way that you can, you can do this though, uh, and it's using the step mode.